So we've talked about growers and setting up growers and setting up seasons. Now let's talk about setting up the fields and the operators. So we'll go to the field tab again. Just go ahead and touch it and you'll notice that we don't have any fields there. However, we do have a grower listed and it is Norris Farms. So we're going to add some fields under Norris Farms. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit the add button and it wants to know what farm do we want to add the fields to. There's no farms created so we just hit add again. So we're going to put in home farm. Once you're done, hit the green enter button and now we have the home farm. So now we can go ahead and hit the next button. Now it wants to know what fields are under the home farm. So we hit add and under my farm here at home we have three fields and I call it H1. Then we add another one and we're going to call it H2. And then the third field is H3. So we've now created three fields under the home farm. So you'll notice in the tree we have the home farm and then fields H1, 2, and 3. We're also going to go ahead and add a new farm called Kenyon Farm. So we're going to hit the add. We're going to add a new farm again because it's not been created yet. And we're going to type in Kenyon. All right, so when you're done, go ahead and hit enter and hit next down here and we'll add our fields. So we start out with K3, hit the add again, K4, and K5. So we've created three fields under the Kenyan farm as well. So if you scroll up, you'll see the home farm. You can hit the plus and see the fields underneath that, or you can close it and you can close the Kenyan. Uh, want to edit a field, you can come down to the field and let's just go to home one and let's edit that field. So we're going to go in and we're going to hit the wrench button when it's highlighted. All right, now you can add information about this field. You can go in and you can put the county, the township, the range, and the section that the field's in. And when you uh, bring that into SMS, it's going to have all that information on it. Um, for like crop insurance reports and planning reports for the FSA. You can also put in the area and the area is going to be automatically calculated when you do a field boundary um, and you can also put in your FSA number. Now, how many people have field boundaries that have been created but they don't match FSA's acres? Just about everybody does. So, you can also put in your FSA area in here. And when the FSA determines your acreage, it's basically just by taking a, a geo-reference map and drawing around that field, their acreages are not as accurate as what ours are. However, when you report to a government agency, your acres have to match that FSA area. So this is where you can put it, right there. You can also put in a legal description that'll print out on your um, reports. So if you don't have this information in there, it's fine. But if you do, your reports are much more detail oriented and it has a lot more value. So that's how you basically set up the farms and the fields. Um, now we're going to go in and we're going to look at operators. So we hit the operator button and you'll notice we don't have any operators. So we're going to hit add and I'm going to go in and put my name. And again, when you're done, hit the enter button. We're also going to add Matt Dugan here. And hit enter when you're done. Now, <clears throat> when, you when you highlight one of them, so let's say we want to highlight myself and hit edit, then you can come in and you can put a phone number for them, an address, um, an email address, a mobile phone, a home phone, but most importantly, you can put the applicator license number in. So, anytime you're using the Integra to apply herbicides and you print off a herbicide report, your applicator license number is going to be in that, uh, on that report. So that's where you put that at. Um, if you have all the information filled in, everything's going to show there. So once you have all that information put in, you can go ahead and highlight the grower and you're going to see all their information and it'll be populated over here under the operator information section. 
that pretty much covers the setup for the grower, the farm, and the field. So our next session, we'll talk about setting up the display.